What's going on guys, John Elder here from Codemy.com and in this video, we're going to finish up the math buttons for our calculator with Kivi and Python. Alright guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to finish up the math buttons for our calculator. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube one to get $30 off membership with all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee at just $49, which is insanely cheap. All right, it is Monday morning here in Vegas. And uh, thanks for everyone who sent uh, messages and stuff about Aspen. Uh, she had surgery last weekend to get spayed. She is home and doing well, and everything went perfectly fine. And uh, so that's cool. So, uh, like I said, in this video, we're going to finish up with these last math buttons. So, we did plus already, but we still got minus, multiply, and divide. So we're going to do that in this video. So I've got six minus three plus seven. I can hit equal to boom. It goes to 10. I can go, uh, you know, uh, nine times three, 27. So finish up the rest of these buttons. So I've got our calc.py and our calc.kv file that we've been working on up until now I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal as always. And if you haven't seen the prior videos, there's a link in the comment section below to the playlist so you can see those prior videos. So, okay, so let's come down here to, let's see, our equals section. And up until now, we've done this if statement with a plus, right? Because we just needed something to work while we were building this thing out. But actually, we don't really want to do all of this because there's a thing in Python that'll let us do all of this stuff much easier. So I'm just going to go ahead and comment this all out. So now our plus thing won't work at all. And let me just boom, 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 close that. So this is all commented out now. So when we hit the equal to sign, we've got our prior variable and it's just being assigned to whatever is in the current text field at the top of the calculator, right? So let's go ahead and create a new variable called answer. And what I want to do here is just eval prior. And the eval function will take a string and evaluate it basically. So if we send it five plus five, it will take that string figure out, hey, you're trying to add five plus five, it'll do the math and it'll return the result. So we can have that answer just like that. So now we can just grab this and paste an answer. Now this will work with plus minus divide multiplication and everything. So we can come over here and let's go ahead and comment this, uh, evaluate the math, from the text box. And then here just output the answer. Okay, so let's see, actually, this answer is integer, remember, we need to return this as a string. So let's go ahead and make that into a string. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this and run it. So we could go five plus five equals 10. It seems to work. We can go uh, 10 divided by two, we get 5.0 because that's a, you know, dividing turns the thing into a decimal. We can go six times three, 18, plus two minus 10 equals 10. Uh, you know, let's keep stringing these along times six times two divided by five equals 24. And it seems to work. We could go, let's say, two to the power of five, right? 32. We could go 10 to the power of 10. That's a very big number, and we're good to go. Now, this seems to work, but it doesn't work flawlessly. If we go 10 divided by zero, oh, our whole thing crashes. Now, in math, you can't divide by zero. That's, you get an error. That's infinity or something. So we need to sort of bake in some error handling here. So let's go uh, error handling, right? So let's try, let's put a try accept thing here. So I'm going to just paste in, I'm just going to put this stuff in there like that. And if it doesn't work, we can run an accept block. And this is not lined up correctly. There we go. Get our tabbing right here. So we want to try this. We can evaluate this and output the result. If it doesn't work, I'm going to come over here 
and copy this guy and let's just put an error up on the screen and let's just say, I don't know, error. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this and run it, see if that worked. So let's go eight divided by zero, we get an error. Now, if we type six here, it puts it at the end of that. It's kind of awkward. We have to hit this C to get rid of that error message, or we could just code that in. So let's head back over here and let's see. So whenever we press a number, that's gonna be the button press function. So inside of here, let's go uh, test for error first. So we could go if error in prior, Let's just set prior to nothing. I think we can leave the rest alone. So, okay, let's go ahead and save this and run it. See how that looks. So let's go six divided by zero. We get an error. Now, if we want to hit seven, boom, it pops up. Seven plus three uh, divided by zero error, 55, and we're good to go. So, okay, I think we're pretty much done here. We didn't do this. Uh, percent sign thing, but that percent sign thing, I've never quite understood exactly what that does on a calculator. You think it would just convert a thing to a percentage, but it doesn't. So I don't know, we could make it convert it to a percentage, I guess, if we wanted to, maybe we'll do that. But uh, for the most part, this is pretty much done now. Now we still have a couple of weird things. Like if we want to put like several, several of these math operators on the screen at once, we're getting an error we would get an error, uh, except for the multiplication. Like in math, double multiplication signs means exponents. So we're doing an exponent here, 55 to the second power, right? So that works. We wouldn't wanna go, for instance, um, six plus plus six. Well, we get 12 and that, that still works, <laughs> I guess. Five plus 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 three. Uh, okay, that still works. It's still evaluating it. So I guess we can get away with that. Nine, let's go. So for instance, we could go 23 minus minus six, and that's 29. That's correct because we're taking 29 minus minus six. So a minus times a minus is a positive. So that would be 23 plus six is 29, right? So, okay, that seems to work. What about nine divided by divided by three? That still works as three, nine, blah, 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 three, get an error. 39 divided by three is 13.3. So, okay, I guess we don't really need error handling for that and we're good to go. So that's all for this video. If you'd like to be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube one to get $30 on membership. So you pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 47 courses, hundreds of videos and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 100,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com and I'll see you in the next video.